Yeah, hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to Liminal School. This is a Minecraft horror map of sorts. It's uh, based on the concept of like a liminal space, which is a space that people think they've been to before. It also looks like it's a very old school map, which I'm pretty interested in. Like what map gives you armor and like steak and stuff? Welcome to Liminal School Exploration Map. The school you used to go to as a kid, now abandoned and hides a forgotten secret. Okay. Um, and your PCO, thank you. Use vanilla textures on your resource packs. Uh, okay. You won't be expected to solve puzzles. That's cool. Uh, if you place a torch, it gets really dark. Don't break blocks. Some signs are in Polish, but they're not crucially experienced. There is no copyrighted music. Cool. Uh, first things first. I am absolutely jazzed that the map starts like this. Uh, there is, like, I, I have such an appreciation for, uh, for, for maps that are, like, old school like this, uh, where it's, like, someone definitely built all this, like, manually, right? I guarantee that, uh, that every block was either placed by a person or placed, like, with a command, like, there wasn't, a, a whole ton of outside work done here as far as, like, MC edit or whatever. I can appreciate that, just like there's gonna be command blocks in this map either, which I can also appreciate. I saw the front entrance to the school, but I'm going to take a quick lap around so we can observe the town and whatnot, the surrounding areas, the little aliens sticking out in the corner. This looks cool. I'm pretty excited about this. I didn't think this would be a, like, like such an old school map. I like it. I think a lot of maps are able to do a lot of cool things, especially with, um, with like modern commands and stuff, but I have such an appreciation for, for maps that that just use Minecraft as is. You know, major appreciation for that. Okay, so we can go in back there. There's also a ladder to go up. Paper. Plastic. Oh, oh, this is this is just like a... It's just like the recycling bins and stuff. Okay, let's go up this ladder. I also, I guess I won't use the torches unless I find them necessary. Right now we're out, like, in the daylight, so we should be fine. Uh, okay. It did say normally. Also, we're playing in survival mode? What? What map lets you play in survival mode? Like, every single map puts you in adventure these days. Super cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back to the front and go through the front entrance. I think that'll be a necessary task. We can also get access to that back area, though, that connects us to, like, a, uh... Connects us to what appear to be, like, a basketball court. We can have that in mind as well. Okay, so, ooh. Ah, yes, very liminal. Everyone remembers the room with the creeper head and, like, arrow pointing upwards. Probably the principal's office. Probably the principal's office. Uh, nothing in these dispensers. Oh, this is like the cafeteria, it looks like. That's nice. I've never actually had, like, an, like an indoor... I mean, we had, like, indoor eating areas at my, like, elementary school and middle school. And high school, I guess. But a lot of people just ate outdoors. They had, like, little, uh, picnic tables, and you could sit in the sun. I don't know, I always find that to be a little bit more preferable. Being indoors. Okay, so I don't think I opened this door, did I? I don't think I opened this door. However, it was pointless. There was nothing in there. And that, this is the, the room we were in before. Okay, cool. Like, the basketball hoops. Coolio. Coolio, coolio. And by the way, at the start of the map, it said not to use a resource pack. Uh, I, of course, am using the faithful resource pack because I always use the faithful resource pack. And I did say faithful and not compliance. If you saw my video from a while ago, the, the faithful resource pack was stolen from its original creator. And the original creator now has the name back. So, yes, this is the faithful resource pack, formerly known as compliance. Uh, it's just like 32x versions of the textures. Okay, we're in like the bathrooms. Some loud bathrooms. Okay, we can go up and down over here. That takes us nowhere. What about here? Um, I'm probably going to stop looking in chests because it doesn't appear like there's much in them. Alright, like a dusty storage. Maybe like the nurse's area? There's like a bed. I don't know who sleeps at school besides, besides slackers and like babies in preschool. What's through here? A book. Can I read it? Nope, it's got nothing in it. Lots of books. Okay, maybe like the computer lab? That kind of looks like a computer lab. 
Okay. Not oh, more chests that have nothing. All right, let's proceed forth. Where's the area I was looking at before? I'm just going to speed around these rooms. Nothing of importance. Nothing of importance. We can go upstairs right here. We can also go downstairs in the other area. I'm assuming downstairs will be the way to progress. So we're going to have to take a peek at that. I think this is less of like a... Well, no. I was going to say maybe this map is like less of a story-ish based map. But it did say that the school has a secret. So there should be some, some identification of a secret at some point. I was going to say perhaps it's just like a... Like, look around at the school and, and see what happens. Ah, age-old question. Is this redstone or is this blood? What what would the map want us to think? I guess like an overflowing bathroom. That's kind of gross. Don't want to go there for sure. And here, empty room. And empty room. The 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 whole uh, the back rooms trend is is about liminal spaces, by the way. Uh, in case you were wondering where you've heard the word before. The whole thing about the back rooms is they're supposed to be pretty liminal. We played a couple of back rooms maps on the uh, on the channel before, and uh, this isn't quite looking like the back rooms, but you know, it's not the back rooms. It's a it's a liminal school. Here we go. Button. Oh, I was gonna say why didn't it open the door, but that's because th this button opens the door. Okay. Oh, gotta eat steak. When was the last time we had to eat in a Minecraft map? Okay. We got a blinking light. Now we're in the school's basement. My college, uh, some of the rooms, or some of the, like, the halls have, have basements. And, uh, it's about what they look like. Generally, it's just not a place you'd really want to be. But they do have a pool table in the basement. So, if you want to play pool, that's what you gotta do. Okay, super long hallway, or not hallway, staircase. This is pretty cool, descending. I wonder if we're gonna open the door and see the back rooms. Is this a back rooms map in disguise? It could be. Very well could be. Very popular trend to make a Minecraft map about. I'm gonna start doing this so I don't have to move my mouse around so much. I can just kind of forward walk and then back walk and then forward walk and back walk. Fortunately, can't sprint forward. Ooh, long tunnel. Must be where a mole lives, or a gopher of some sort. A mole or a gopher. Okay. Ah. This is kind of neat. I mean, it's just a giant empty room, but imagine going below your school and finding a giant empty room. <laughs> that would be a little bit creepy, especially with the light over at the end of that hallway. All right, next room. Okay, we're in like okay, we're we're in a crypt now. Oh, we got a crouch walk. Got a crouch walk. Got to be slow. The speed bump, and there's an arrow pointing downwards. Downwards I go. Sounds good to me. Okay, button doesn't do anything. Oh, are we in a maze? Are we in a maze? Okay, that looks like. Progress. What is over here then? Uh, like a hallway of like just chains. Okay. Okay, blocked. It's blocked. Cool. So it was a maze, but the solution was just go left. Most mazes are. The solution of just go left generally works for a maze. And it's good to see that it worked here as well. Okay, yeah, now we're getting into backroomsy stuff. Because this looks like the back room in the the previous back rooms map I played that has like the different levels of the back rooms. This is like the, the pipes level where there was pipes running across this. Hello? Okay. Someone must have dropped their cologne or their cup of tea or their something glass related. What do we got going on here? It's like a shower? Maybe? I don't know. Just the thing about the back rooms. They don't have to make sense. They just don't have to make sense at all. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Okay. We've descended again. And now we're in like an upper pattern here. 
Interesting. Walking towards the end. Gonna, of course, eventually reach this secret. Although, you can imagine, like, this is what was in the teacher's lounge of your school. That'd be kind of weird. And we're crouching again. Looks like we have a potential fall ahead, though. Let's see if this is true. We do. I can also just cut the corner, but there is nothing over there, so I will not cut the corner. We're in, like, a waiting room. Well, I'm done waiting for my appointment. I'm gonna walk to the next area. That's a cool effect. Very cool. It's supposed to be like looking out into space. I like it, I like it. What's through here? Name tags. Anything behind paintings by any chance? No? Okay. You can look up a really long tunnel behind the painting? No. I will say, if, if any map were to leave some- oh, pool closed? That's funny because a lot of liminal spaces are pools. Like, indoor pools. I can't- okay, mm, there's a stair down and a long hallway, so we'll avoid the stairs down and we'll go through this long hallway first. But a lot of the places people call- oh, there's stairs there too! Yeah, a lot of the places people call liminal is just like- like swimming pools. They're- Successfully liminal. Okay. Now we're in like a house. Cool. Oh, heck yeah. Stall. Someone get Jay Schlatt on the phone. Playing his favorite Minecraft song. How far does it have in range? Pretty far. Okay. Nice. It's fading a little bit. We'll wrap right back around. There we are. If anyone doesn't know what song this is, this is the stall disc from Minecraft, as you just saw me place it in the jukebox. And it's got a very iconic part that people like very much or dislike very thoroughly. And that part should be coming up right now. It's a recorder. You know, the little instrument you played in elementary school? It's shrill, it's loud, it's sharp, and it divides the community. Any stallers watching this video right now? Any people who like stall? If you're a fan of the Minecraft music disc stall, make sure to leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section you are a fan of stall. I am a fan of stall. I think it's an A-OK -okay Minecraft map. I think we're lagging up a storm right now. Whenever I look like in this direction, which I guess is why we're supposed to keep the render distance low, I am a very cautious of what's coming up ahead. It's going to be something like 30,000 maps or something. Oh. Okay, I don't see anything worthy of all this lag yet, but it's coming. Holy lord, it's on its way. Okay. Yep, don't mind me just walking around. Ah. It's the maps. It's all the maps. Cool effect. Looks like an arcade. This is what this reminds me of. If you were to show me this space, I'd be like, yeah, that's an arcade, man. It looks like, oh, well, it looks like a movie theater. Oh, I can see movie theater. Yeah, I'll give you movie theater. All right. Moving beyond that, super long hallway. Perfect. Let me take a quick snack of some steak. And they keep on coming. More hallways. And more paintings on the roof. Or item frames with maps on the roof. What is this? Like a liminal hotel, maybe? I can see it. I can see it. I imagine there's not much going on in this hotel. And uh wowie zowie, we are lagging up a storm. Let's 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 leave this area of the liminal school. Remember this all started in a school. Isn't that kind of silly? Okay, that's just a fire. I'm gonna assume I don't burn, so we missed something somewhere. Perhaps it's in the liminal hotel. Aha, uh -huh, a staircase down. Access denied. I think I'll head in anyway, thanks. Okay. Now hopefully we can leave these 
paintings behind. Our render distance will improve. And we're free to continue through like the obligatory liminal sewers, I guess. I hate sewer levels. <laughs> I hate sewer levels. So many Minecraft maps and so many video games in general have sewers. It's like, why do you have a sewer level? What's down there? Probably nothing. I don't like sewers because, oh, you know what? Hold on, wait. This is cool because I can enter fast swim mode and I can see, okay, there's nothing up here, but also I can fast swim to see if there's anything over here. I doubt there is. It'd be a cool Easter egg to put something down. Yeah, there's nothing. It would have been a cool Easter egg to put something there. I don't know what that something would have been, but like a, a secret sign that's like, you found it because it is possible to get in there. I, I just demonstrated that. Oh boy, oh boy, please don't tell me it's a liminal maze of water. Okay, it is cool though that we can begin fast swimming. That's useful. Is this an exit? Nope. And I just ruined my fast swim. I have half a mind to enchant my boots with Depth Strider. But hopefully that doesn't prove to be too necessary. Oh, no, hold on. I want to re-enter fast swimming mode. There we go. It gave us the update aquatic for a reason. And it's become sharks. There we go. I'm going to go like this. So that I can see a little bit better. Hopefully spy the oncoming... Uh, oncoming exit. It's probably that door across the way. Which means I should probably just start normal swimming now. Wow, look how low that goes though. You can see the bottom. That's a deep swimming pool, man. The deep pool. Okay, weird room. Weird room. I can just sum up weird rooms. Like changing rooms, maybe? Exit is this way. Don't mind if I do. The exit into the next area. Which is a, another swimming pool. I told you, they, they do a lot of swimming pools. When they're thinking when they're thinking liminal, liminally. Not to be confused with thinking laminarly. Laminar is a type of flow. Where all particles of a fluid are moving in the same direction. Oh, what do we have here? White void rooms. White void rooms. With lots of lag because of the maps from above, probably. Okay. I'm surprised. I have a pretty good computer. I have an RTX 3070 graphics card. I'm surprised. Well, I, I guess I am playing on a big render distance and stuff. But I'm surprised the map creator was able to uh, place all those without lagging. Rainbow room. Clown room. This is also another thing. I, I think it's a pretty interesting showcase. Because I've, I've seen a lot of these spaces, even though they're not, like, it's not the liminal image actually being presented to me. I can be like, yeah, I've, I've seen what this image is based on. Like, this one as well as, like, playpen. I've seen what this is based on. Oh, we go up. I didn't even realize. Oh, we do go up. I was going to say no, but yes, we do go up. Into a copper tunnel of copperness. And then we drop, and we continue. And then we drop. Okay. Home! I live here! Oh, this is straight out of the back rooms. I've seen that. I've been scared on that, that staircase before. That's straight out of the back room. And then... Oh, I hear a cow. I hear two cows. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that the end of the map? Because we made it home? Okay. That was cool. Oh, let's go into spectator mode, actually. Spectator mode. There we go. That was cool. Where are the cows? Why do I hear cows? Oh, they're you trapped the cows. Oh, there's geodes. That's cool. Uh, yeah, that, was, that was an interesting map. I think that was a very interesting map. I like it. Oh, this is where they got the, uh, the map. Or the, uh, the item frames. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting map. It didn't have, like, necessarily, like, a story or anything, but I don't think it was meant to. I think it was just supposed to be, like, an exploration map. Um, little, little town you built is pretty nice. Yeah, I had a good time playing that map. I don't think it was necessarily the, like, a, like a chart-topping map, but it was fun. It was probably someone's very first map, and I think they did a very good job. That's going to be all for now, though, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. And to friends of my channel, if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. 
when you guys bring videos around, and I'll catch you guys if I can next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care. Thank you.